Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I'm like, damn, you so fine, girl. What is your sign? She say I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Capricorn, the beginning and end. I got a friend for your friend. Hey, I'm making all of this money to spend. There are stores buying. Hey, I don't buy. As you can see, well, probably can't tell. It is nighttime, but by the title, you guys know why you are here. We are going to do a baby nighttime routine, and I'm just going to show you guys what it entails for me to put this little girl down to sleep. Right now, we are breasting, which I found out her older cousin titled breastfeeding as breasting. Right now, it is about 7 40 something the last time i checked so it might be about 7 50. realistically gianna does not go to sleep until about 1 a.m and then i don't go to sleep until about 2 a.m but this is around the time that we start you know winding down putting her into her night clothes wiping her down and stuff like that so join me as i do that <laughs> Close girl. Yeah. No. <laughs> You're tired. Okay. <laughs> so I don't really want to show you guys Gianna because I don't know if I have to change her diaper. So I don't want to like expose my girl. Scooter. But yeah. So today we just had like a pretty standard day. We stayed home. So for those of you who watched my two month update you guys definitely seen her in this outfit you definitely seen me in this outfit <laughs> so that's basically smiling on mommy that's basically all that we did today so i'm just going to change her out of the clothes that she had on we didn't leave the house and i'm going to put on some night clothes yeah put on some night clothes i generally do it this early because most likely gianna is going to end up like taking a nap or something i don't know a nap at eight o'clock at night but it happens. She's going to end up taking a nap. So I just rather us get out the way. I know we're not leaving the house at this time of night. So Ooh, she almost dropped the white warmer. By the time Caleb comes home, because he has a full day, he's been out since 6 a.m. No, he's been at work since 6 a.m. And he doesn't get off until really late. So we're not going to see him until like around 1030 tonight. So I like to have her like nice and prepared to see him so that, you know, he just has his little playtime with her before she goes out for the night. Right, girl? Diaper's good? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Gianna's in her night clothes. For the days that we go outside, I usually like wipe down her face with some warm water and wipe the palms of her hands just because like the dust and debris from outside. But she did have a bath pretty later than usual. She had like a bath around like maybe three-ish today there's ain't, ain't nothing really to wipe down <laughs> so all that's really left for us to do for the night is to just read books rock her to sleep and stuff like that caleb is at school so i like to either wait for him to come home from work to see like what type of mindset he's in that's say he's in working school whatever he's in work and he's in school so i like to see like what kind of mindset that he's in like if he's too tired then i'll just read to her to go to bed right girl right so now we're just going to play the waiting game and wait for daddy to come home, right? <laughs> Gianna, we really have to work on this camera personality. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, we're going to wait for daddy to come home. So now at this point, I'm just going to put her in her swing. So this is a swing that I've been telling you guys about. Pretty big, bulky swing. I wouldn't really recommend this one because I cannot stand the legs of it. It just takes up too much real estate and as you can see the motor has slowed down doesn't matter how many times i press the button it just i don't know and when i actually looked up the reviews for it after i purchased it a lot of people were saying that the motor of the swing blew out pretty quickly so yeah unfortunately this is what i bought before watching the reviews she loves it but i wouldn't recommend it and this is the reflect that i was telling you guys about that she loves to look at herself in and she'll just be sitting in here Screaming, cooing, laughing, and enjoying herself. Right, G? But yeah, so like I said, I actually realized I did not shower yet. So I'm about to go 
do that and take off my makeup, do some of my hair, and then yeah, Caleb should be home in like the next two hours. So yeah, maybe be back with what we gonna do with her at night time. <laughs> show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. I'll go to bed early tomorrow at night. Instead? Who cares about the instead part? <laughs> hey, hey, ho, ho. This here pigeon just won't go. My bunny wants to stay up too. Please. I mean... You can't say no to a bunny, can you? <laughs> Gianna has a bunny, right? That was a real yawn too. <laughs> it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm yawn awake. 110%. You haven't heard the yawn last of me. First of all, it's I'm a 110% and he yawned in between it. You said I'm yawn awake 100%. Whatever. Thank you. Great work, thanks. Look, the pigeon went to sleep. Good night. You see your JJ? Then he had a glizzy party in his dreams. He did have a glizzy party? <laughs> I'm weak. So after we read Gianna like a book with words, I like to follow it up with one of the black or white books that I mentioned to you guys and that you always see on my Instagram only because realistically I don't think she understands anything that's going on in these books however I do like to like build her vocabulary and stuff like that at such an early age but for certain I know she understands these books they don't got no words they just pictures she likes looking at it and day to day she'll see you know some of the items and the objects that are in these books and she can relate to them like oh I seen that in my book and also I did mention to you guys that I prefer this black and white book over this black and white book only because this black and white book, yes, it has like non-fictional things in it. Like these are, I guess, flowers with buds and that's a, um, a sun. And like, here's another page. Like this is a person, which is kind of creepy looking. But like I mentioned to you guys in the other book, this is more realistic. These are actually real life objects that you'll be able to see. Bird, a balloon, buttons, a banana, and so on and so forth. So I just like let her look at it and kind of explore the book. I've tried to get her to like touch the pages, but she doesn't like want to extend her arms as yet, whatever. That is pretty much just our night routine. Right now she's feeding and yeah, I'm just gonna let her look at this book and call it a night. It looks like we actually might get an early night out of her. It's 1028. She, as I said, usually goes to bed by like one, but today it looks like it's about to be a good night and I might just take advantage. So, I hope you guys enjoyed our little mini night routine, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. You're not invisible. Yo, like, just say bye, please. Say goodnight. You're annoying. <laughs>